The show went on the air in October. And uh, we, we didn't know. It took about three or four weeks, and boy, we knew then that we really had something. <clears throat> and some of the stories about it are, that I experienced are funny. The show went on the air, and I was not in the audience, although I did see quite a number of the shows when they did it live. I was, I was in Boston with Bowie Kuhn, the commissioner of baseball. We were there for the great uh, World Series. I think it was the Boston Red Sox, Cincinnati uh, Reds. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, I invited Bowie and his wife, after dinner, we had dinner with them, to come up to our the living room of the two rooms we had to watch the premiere of a new show. And Bowie was a straight-laced straight guy, a very good man, a lovely man, very moral, but very strict, very religious. He's sitting there, and the, her, the host is George Carlin. And he's doing routine, mocking religion which is not the perfect entertainment for Bowie. He just sat there stone-faced, and about, after a while, he just started to laugh, and I figured, well, if Bowie's laughing at it, we might have some. <clears throat> and uh, the other thing that I noticed was that at our uh, board meeting in November, some of the outside directors would give me a hard time about, how can you put this stuff on? And then one of the loudest objectors came over afterwards and asked if I could, if he could get tickets for his daughter in college, which, you know, they, they had a protest. But the real tip-off was that our affiliate, you know, we, we would have affiliate meetings, big meetings once a year, but we would have affiliate board meetings <clears throat> periodically to bring the uh, affiliates up to date on what we were doing and what we were developing and so forth like that. So at this meeting, they complained about what was going on Saturday Night Live. And we played some clips from the show. And they laughed uproariously. We never had a complaint after that. Now, we did get complaints when they got <clears throat> too racy, too sexy, too outrageous. <clears throat> but I saw the same thing with that show that I saw with Laughing. Laughing was a good rehearsal, because Saturday Night Live went far beyond laughing. We didn't get that many complaints, because the audience was self-selecting. When you went to Saturday Night Live, you knew what you were going to get. And the people who would typically be offended just didn't go to the show, even though and we, got a, we got a younger, hip college audience. <clears throat> but around the I think if I could mark it, it would be the show with Richie Pryor and Candace Bergen. I think it was the third or fourth show, I don't remember. And by then we were really grooved. And you, you had Chevy and Belushi and Gilda and uh, Aykroyd. And the show was really, really on its way. It became the talk of the country. 